The groundbreaking unique thing about code is the first time we've been able to stitch together these building blocks of being able to autonomously traverse across hundreds of meters, locate something, um, a small sample to 10 centimeter accuracy and be able to pick it up with an arm and put it on board. That end-to-end -end process hasn't been done yet and we managed to do it successfully yesterday. So we're really, really happy about that. It's able to actually decide its path and navigate its path all on its own without ground intervention. So ground intervention would, would take too long. So it takes about 20 minutes to send a signal to Mars, 20 minutes to get it back, so we can't operate in real time. So what the rover does is it's got these stereo cameras on board that take images of the, of the environment in front of it. It compares those two images and it builds up what we call a digital elevation model, uh, basically a 3D map of the terrain in front of it and it knows its capabilities so it can pick a path through those obstacles. And we set it a waypoint several, several hundred meters away. It will be able to get its way there without any intervention.